Hello everyone! Just a few minutes ago, Boom has released a full compilation of all episodes of Season 23. And as always, he also presented some new cool secret content to us. So in today's video, we're going to discuss all the secret scenes that he added in here and also answer a few very significant questions. And yes, you heard it absolutely right. Because in this compilation, Boom granted us not one, not even two, but three secret scenes all at once. Man, I can't remember the last time we would have been fed that well before. So this time, you're gonna learn. What did Small Astro Toilet say to his leader? And what is the actual plan of their fraction? What really happened to Lucky Cameraman? And what kind of specific plan was the secret agent talking about? And most importantly, what's going to happen in the grand finale of this series? Now get your tea and snacks ready, and prepare to watch this video to the end, because it will be surely one of the most memorable things you'll see today. Let's go! The first secret scene starts right after the end of the 69th episode's part 2, that was also extended in the previous all-episode season compilation by Boom. As the squad with the big TV man at its head goes into the Skibidi bunker, we have been transferred to the very interesting place. At first I thought that it was supposed to be the same battlefield we'll see the fight between Titan TV man and the giant Astro Toilet on, but then I noticed a few very important details about the scene. First of all, I couldn't remember these giant rocks with metal pins sticking out of them in the previous episodes, which means that we're somewhere completely new. Plus, take a look at this white construction that was shown to us for literally one split second. It doesn't look like the dam from the first part of episode 70 at all. And in fact, it reminds me more of some kind of surveillance spot. Look at this huge white tube, which seems to be resemblant of some sort of giant spyglass. I actually think that this tube could have been used by some of the giant Skibidi from the main base, such as Skibidi Scientist, G-Man, or any other important member of Skibidi Army. But still, we're definitely somewhere close to the Skibidi base and all its surroundings where the heated battles will be taking place very soon. And I can state this based on a few facts. First, that some of the agents of the Alliance were already here spying on this Astro Toilet Top secret conversation. And secondly, by taking a look at the general environment, such as the sky's color and the mountain's presence. I think that the timing of this secret scene was shortly after Titan TV Man stopped having fun with G Toilet's clones from the first part of episode 68. And by the way, this episode is extremely important to us, so now let me explain why. In this secret scene, a few fascinating facts were revealed at the same time. First thing first, do you guys remember how I was absolutely sure in the moment of the first part of episode 70's release that this huge, intimidating Astro Toilet is not the same guy who we saw in episode 60? Although their faces looked extremely similar, I figured it out immediately that it is just a Booms gimmick, and that in reality, these two are completely different characters. Because not only was their size different, but their weaponry and body structure were absolutely not the same as well. But still, there were fans theories here and there that the guy from the first part of episode 70 could be just an upgraded version of this UFO toilet, as I usually call this guy from episode 60. But this secret scene proved otherwise, as we can actually see the communication between these two freaks. By the way, do you remember how I said just a minute ago that the first part of episode 68 is extremely important? And specifically, this scene where we could notice this exact UFO toilet spying quietly at the left corner of the screen while observing the battle between Titan TV Man and G-Clones? I bet this guy had been gathering the information about this confrontation all along that was then reported by him to his big boy Astro Toilet leader. By the way, speaking of UFO Toilet, I noticed a few slight changes in his appearance. Before episode 60, we could also see him in episodes 53 and 55, but back then, his spinning body core wasn't glowing as it can be seen in the secret scene that led to producing an explosion later. And he also didn't have those powerful laser eye using which he simply demolished the POV who was spying on them with his poor comrade. But what were the UFO toilet and astro toilet talking about though? I have a few thoughts about that. Considering how the UFO toilet was spying on the Alliance's forces before, he was definitely telling all the information he got to his leader. Besides, hearing him talking was very funny to me, because Boom obviously used the TikTok voice distorting effect that was used in lots of meme videos. And I am sure that this huge Astro is the leader of their fraction because of how powerful, 
intimidating and gigantic he is, and I even have an idea that his face became some sort of prototype for other ordinary astro toilets such as this one. I couldn't understand a human word from their conversation, though, because it was clear how both of them were aware of this alliance's spies' presence. So they were talking in their own astro language, not to reveal their secrets to anybody. But based on how confident and content the astro leader looked in the end before pronouncing Skibidi and flying away, I can say that apparently whatever plan he has is working, and everything goes as he wanted to. But all this conspiracy wasn't even that necessary after all, because all of these spies got mercilessly destroyed by the UFO toilet after this conversation. Now let's move on to the next secret scene. It starts from the POV of no other than lucky cameraman himself that appeared at the end of the third part of episode 70. We can see how Plunger Man is looking right into our eyes before getting transferred to the secret agent and then buried with flames. He's invisible to everyone expect Plunger Man. And as he turns around, no other than the secret agent contacts him directly while saying, What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. After that, Lucky Cameraman experiences the same flash effect that Plungerman. And it's obvious to me that this white light is actually a flash of teleportation. And that's how Lucky Cameraman got back to his initial body spot in a second. Which also means that Plungerman was, in fact, teleported to the secret agent as well at the end of the 70th episode. And that's probably the reason why Camera Woman and TV Woman look so distorted and scared when he came back. The dude disappeared, then returned and started burning within a second. I would have gotten frightened and clueless of what to do as well. When Lucky Cameraman appears near the secret room where he was initially left for Una Lived, the secret agent says another mysterious phrase. Get back and stick to the plan. I'm sure you will convince them. Get back and stick to the plan. I'm sure you will convince them. After hearing those words, Lucky Cameraman lies back exactly to the same place his body was. And in this moment, the New Alliance's agents come inside the room, and then this cool-looking speaker man gives us his hands and helps us get back on our feet. Now let me show you some awesome details that I managed to find in this scene. First of all, when Lucky Cameraman turns around and gets ready to teleport, we can see how he has an actual shadow, meaning that he's invisible but still in the flesh. That detail gets me back to the scene in Cameraman's laboratory after Plungerman got unconscious where we could also notice some Cameraman's mysterious shadow, although nobody could have been seen near the POV in that moment. I bet that it was one of the green-suited brothers in there or maybe someone else we haven't been introduced to before. But let's get to Lucky Cameraman's secret scene. I found it really funny how the guys that had been banging on this door all that time, before finally got in just now, when Skibbity Scientist was already gone and all the hard work had already been done. Thanks a lot, buddies. Then I noticed one mistake that Boom accidentally made. You see this empty glass cage here? It's actually supposed to be shattered because this is the same cage where Plungerman got his new earphones from. And I also noticed the similar thing at this moment of this compilation, where we are supposed to see the glass from the broken TV screen on this skibidi on the floor near the door. But in the next frame, it's already gone. Now take a look at this speaker man and how he has the mini version of the Titan speaker man's giant knife that can be seen hanging on the wall right there. Could this be a sign that he's the next elite speakerman agent from the next generation of the Alliance? And why I think so is also due to this scene where this guy helps Lucky Cameraman to get on his feet. This is obviously another reference to the legendary gray-suited cameraman scene from episode 24. And I noticed how this gesture was later replicated only by some special and important characters, such as the black speaker man himself. So it can actually mean that this guy is the new version of our beloved late dark speaker man who's probably gone forever now. It makes my heart really hurt. But what's also important are those words that the secret agent said. I'm sure you will convince them. I'm sure you will convince them. I think that's a foreshadowing to how Lucky Cameraman will be seen back on track in the next episode because only Plungerman and the Dark Speaker Man knew that he was destroyed and not those guys that just came to the room. And that means that the secret agent's most loyal apprentice is back on stage and he'll continue his manipulations once again, which surely will play the major role in the series finale. And now let's go to the last secret scene from this compilation at the very end of the video. It's really short but bittersweet, so let's discuss it. 
It happened right after the ending of episode 71, and we see the trio of Titans observing what's left of G-Man's merciless attack and everything's on fire and destroyed. It obviously made our huge friends upset and really mad. Titan Cameraman crashes this little skibidi toilet with his hand in anger, and in pair with his buddy, Titan Speakerman flies away on the next mission. Titan TV Man is ready to teleport instead, and just a second before he does this, he says the eerie phrase that sounds like, I will avenge to this mother funner. Well, actually, the last word sounded a bit different. But I obviously cannot put it in my video as it was, but you surely caught my meaning. Man, I totally understand the feeling of the Titans, and I am sure that we will see them in the next episode absolutely ripping the Skibidi army apart in order to avenge their fallen comrades. And that was all for today. I am really excited for the next episode, and I believe it will be unbelievably epic and unpredictable. And as always, that was me, Isa Toilet. See ya!